Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. I just pulled into my WW workshop. Man, my voice is still scratchy. Comment below if you know why on earth my voice feels so scratchy. It's like I lo am losing it, but I feel completely fine. So I don't know, kind of crazy. But anyways, I'm here to weigh in. I'm excited about today's weigh in. Overall, I had a very good week. I did end up using my weekly points on Sunday when I went to the play with my mom, which I did share with you in that particular video. So I did end up using most of my weeklies. I did save some of my weeklies for yesterday, Valentine's Day, because I wasn't sure what my husband was going to get me, but he ended up just getting me a little four piece chocolate from Russell Stouffer. No, I'm sorry, three pieces. We thought it was four. And then when we opened it, it ended up only being three pieces. So that's what he got me for Valentine's Day. 240 calories, eight smart points, no problem. So I was able to have that yesterday using the rest of my weeklies. Other than that, I feel like I had a really good week. I didn't overindulge. I felt like I made good food choices. I ate my meal preps throughout the week. So they were balanced meals. So Goodness, hopefully when I step on the scale today, there is a loss and a loss of more than 0.4. Cross your fingers for me. I'd really like to hit my 20 pounds, but again, that's a pretty lofty goal. It's 2.6, which I haven't lost that in weeks. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. This will be my last weigh in before I head out of town again for work. I'm actually going to Phoenix on Tuesday, and I will be in Phoenix Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So my ultimate plan is to save my weeklies for Wednesday. That's the day of the training. That's the day that all of my food will be provided. But again, I'm just going to have to wing it. I may be able to stay on track. We'll just have to see what the food options are. So it is a cold, wintry day, but I'm at my WW workshop, and I'm excited. So I'm going to go in, weigh in. I'll be back shortly with a weigh-in update as well as a recap of the topic. Welcome back. I just pulled into work. I just finished working my WW workshop. It went really, really well. Um, I'll do the recap first, then I'll tell you about my weight. So the workshop was so good. The topic was to be kind to yourself. And I know from experience, we're not always kind to ourselves. We look in the mirror, we're disappointed. We wake up, we don't look the way that we want. And we immediately tell ourselves, you look horrible, you're fat, you're not attractive. And that sets the tone and sets the mood for our entire day. So be kind to yourself. And when you look in the mirror, tell yourself something positive. It always sets a better tone for the day. It always makes you feel better, feel more confident. And then that just protrudes in everything that you do for the entire day. So the topic of be kind to yourself was definitely one I feel that was needed, especially after a possible Valentine's Day indulgence. So some of the key points that WW wants you to take away from the be kind to yourself topic are the following. Treat yourself with understanding, acceptance, and treat yourself the way that you would treat others. You're definitely not as critical and hard on others as we are on ourselves. So you're not going to go tell your friend who's on this WW journey with you that she's fat and ugly and unattractive and that she's not doing what she's supposed to do. But those are all things that we tell ourselves. So the takeaway is tell yourself the things that you would tell others. And you're definitely harder on yourself than you are on everyone else. So treat yourself the way that you treat others. I love that. That is something that I definitely need to in, put into my own life. I'm kind and loving and complimentary to others, but I'm not always that way to myself. And why is that? Why can I say all those wonderful things to other people, but I'm so hard and critical of myself? So I need to learn to be better and more kind to myself. I think that the majority of us on this journey, that is something we struggle with. So I think that that is one huge thing that we can take away from this WW workshop talk. Topic. The other part of this topic I absolutely loved, which is be your best friend. Be a friend to yourself. If you have a friend that is struggling, what do you say? What do you tell your friend? How do you encourage them? Do you discourage them? Do you say negative things to your friends when they're struggling? No. I, I certainly would hope not, and I would venture to guess that most of us do the exact opposite, and we are supportive to our friends. We say supportive things. We are there for our friends. We are kind to our friends. We give them encouragement. We help them through whatever their challenge is. Do the same thing for yourself. When you're struggling, 
Do what you would do for a friend for yourself. When there's a challenge, treat yourself with the same respect and dignity as you would treat your friend that's struggling through that same challenge. Treat yourself like you would treat others. And I think that you're going to say a huge improvement in your thoughts about yourself. You'll be kinder to yourself. And most likely that'll resonate through your WW journey and you'll see a faster loss on the scale. You'll start to feel more confident. You will focus on the positive things on your journey. How much weight have you lost? How do you feel now compared to how you felt when you start? How's your physical endurance? What can you do now that you couldn't do before you started WW? And if we're constantly reminding ourselves of those positive things, our mindset is going to be positive and we should see that positive mindset happen and that positive result on the scale. So please, please, from me and for me, for myself, be kind to yourself, appreciate yourself, and treat yourself like you would treat your friends. Now let's move in to weight loss. So like I mentioned in my clip before I went into my workshop, I feel like overall my week went really, really well. Uh, I was on track most of the week. I did have a few indulgences, but they were planned and they were incorporated into my dailies, my weeklies, and my rollovers. But I feel this way every week, right? You hear me say this every week that I feel like I had a great week. I was on track. I should see a loss on the scale. And a lot of the times I don't see the loss that I'm expecting or I don't see a loss at all. But today, my friends, was a different day. I lost, dun, 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 drum roll, 2.4. I am so excited that finally, 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 I see a drop on the scale that is substantial. 2.4 down. 2.4. That is, my friends, a total of 19.8 pounds lost. Oh, so close to the 20 pounds. So, so close. But am I upset that I didn't hit my 20 pounds? Kind of. I mean, I really would have liked to hit my 20 pounds. But what am I going to do with that? I am going to be kind to myself and I'm going to take that as more motivation for my trip to Phoenix to stay on track so that I can lose that last 0.2 pounds to hit my 20 pounds lost. So I'm taking that as motivation and I'm going to be kind to myself and I'm going to remind myself of all the good things I did this week and remind myself of how wonderful 2.4 pounds in one week is. And I'm also going to remind myself that I have lost 19.8 pounds, 19.8 since I started my journey. So I could still be 19.8 pounds heavier, or I can be grateful and thankful and thrilled that I'm 19.8 pounds down. So that, my friends, is what I am taking into my week. I am going to use that as motivation to stay on track during my trip to Phoenix. I am going to dinner with my husband on Saturday um, for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to be using some of my weeklies for dinner on Saturday, which again is just fine. But it again is more motivation for me to be on track in Phoenix because I'm not going to have all my weeklies available. I am traveling with a coworker, which always makes it a little bit harder, but I'm going to absolutely positively do my best to make good choices. I'm going to pack snacks like I always do when I travel, and I'm going to get in as much physical activity as well, hoping that that helps compensate for some of the food that I eat so that I hope with every part of my soul that I hit my 20 pounds loss next week. So point two away, point two. So that is my motivation to stay on track this week on my traveling to Phoenix. So great loss. I'm super, super happy. Super, super, super happy. So in the comments below, let me know how did your week go? Did you lose? Did you gain? How do you feel about your week? Also, if you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you over to my journey. I hope that you enjoy the content that I share. Please take a moment and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. That way you don't miss a beat. And give my video a thumbs up if you like these weigh-ins and these updates. And again, thank you so much for all of your support through my journey so far, for all of your kind. I look forward to being on this journey with all of you. I am going to include a clip here at the end of the video of the recipe that was on the back of the weekly. It looks really, really good. And I hope that you had and have a wonderful next week. And a reminder, please, my friends, be kind to yourself. You are all worth all of this journey and all of the success that you've had is because of your hard work. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.